Hey guys, I've been getting questions about how to start your morning better with brain education principles. Today, I'll show you how I do it in this video. It's so hard for me to get out of bed when my alarm rings. I'm always tempted to hit snooze at least five times before actually getting up. If you're like me, this will help. To help my body and mind transition with less resistance and less snoozing, I do some light movements to get energy flowing in my muscles and joints. Just small movements to ease my brain to wake up. I start with wiggling my fingers and toes, shaking my neck side to side. Then I do some joint rotations. and eventually work my way to moving my whole body. Stretching! Ah, that one felt good. Switch to the other side and stretch. There's an exercise in brain education of tapping your big toes together while moving your legs side to side. This helps get the blood moving from the hips down so you're ready to get on your feet. I do about 100 taps or until my legs feel awake, whichever comes first. Moving the neck side to side helps get my spinal fluid moving too. I easily get tense in my neck and shoulders, so I need to work that area a lot. Neck rotations are a tried and true way to loosen that up easily and quickly. I also like to do some brainwave vibration to help me more with my neck and shoulders. The abdominal tapping I'm doing helps me get grounded in my body, while the shaking helps my neck and shoulders release and my brain to clear and wake up. The next thing I do is boil water to make tea. I found out we lose a lot of water overnight from the body detoxing itself and also from breathing. So it's essential to put that water back in and rehydrate yourself. But did you know that drinking hot water also helps your digestion? Drinking hot water gives warm water for your gut muscles to kick into gear to expel waste easier and more regularly. I love drinking black or green tea in the morning because it gives me a caffeine boost to help me wake up. I find coffee makes me crash too hard later, so this is a great substitute. As a side note, my favorite morning tea is Earl Grey. While I wait for my water, why not do some stretching and tapping? I try out a variety of stretches that work out the areas I feel tight in. There's no such thing as a perfect or right routine. The best practice is to sense your body and give it what it needs. Back aches? Stretch those muscles while exhaling out the pain. Shoulders feel dense? Tap them so they wake up. Chest feels stuffy? Tapping the chest is a great exercise to do while sighing out. Brain still asleep? Use your fingertips to tap them awake. Ah, now my water is ready. While my tea seeps, I go to wash up. This is the first time I look at myself in the mirror for the day, so it's the perfect time for me to connect with myself. I wash my face with cool water by imagining bright energy in my palms being transferred to my face each time I rinse. While brushing my teeth, I set an intention for the day and think of a positive affirmation that goes with my intention. I think of a simple sentence my brain can remember like, I can do it. I'm awesome. I am worthy. I am loved. I pick about two that resonate with me for the day, something that I wish someone would say to me and I'd feel good about it. but instead of waiting for someone, I say them to myself again and again while making eye contact so it's like I'm really looking at myself while I say it, so it connects in my brain. After the affirmations are done, it's time to get dressed. Ta-da! 
I created a habit of making my bed every morning because it's the first energy I put out into the world. If I set a positive intention, but the first action I do is to leave my room a mess, then the energy is already off and I start off on the wrong foot. I think the bedroom is a sacred space for the body and mind to relax, so it's better to come home to a clean place that's already prepared for me after a long day. It's a small habit, but an important one for mental health, self-love, and self-respect. I also neatly fold my pajamas for the same reason, to take care of myself and respect my environment, rather than leaving myself to just quote unquote, deal with it later. I want to be happy and I want to thrive in my space. So I make small habit changes to support this desire. Before I run out the door, I take just 30 seconds to remind myself of my affirmation and feel it in my heart. That way, I can focus on it to manifest in my actions for the day. Once that's embedded in my heart, now it's time to head out the door and seize the day. I grab my things, get my tea, and walk out the door with my head held high. Let me know in the comments below if this routine helps you or if you have some special tips of your own. I'd love to hear them. I hope you have an awesome, kick-ass day. See you in the next video. Bye.